Norwich was badly damaged by the Blitz 80 years ago in April 1942. I'm not going to show the effects on the city at that time, instead looking at Norwich before the Blitz and comparing scenes with 2022. Let's begin on Barn Road with the Barn Tavern on the opposite corner and the pub on the near corner whose name I can't establish. Suffice to say the latter has disappeared under the dual carriageway and the barn is now a tattoo shop. Further along Barn Road and part of a council depot was this building known as the Monkey House. Again the dual carriageway has replaced that earlier building. 80 years ago from this point the road was named Station Road with Norwich City Station terminus here. This building was largely destroyed in the Blitz and the station operated from temporary buildings until closing in 1969. Into Hayham Street this was the Orchard Tavern. It was replaced twice after the war initially as a hut and then as a red brick building before being replaced by this car showroom. Looking out of the city at the Deerham Road junction with Old Palace Road, this junction suffered damage and the replacement consists of advertising hoardings and a new dial pub, now a Tesco Express. Between Nelson Street and Northumberland Street was St Bartholomew's Church, now with just the tower remaining and the surrounding area being a park. A similar story at St Benedict's Church, with just the tower remaining in fact this tower fenced off as a potentially dangerous structure. Off King Street this was St Julian's Church which was badly damaged in the war but this one was rebuilt using materials from the original building. St Michael at Thorne was not so fortunate being completely lost under the car park at the junction of Thorne Lane and Burr Street. Long before John Lewis there was Bonds and this was their entrance from All Saints Green, which now looks like this in 2022. On the corner of Rampant Horse Street and St Stephen Street, this was Buntings, which in a similar looking building is now part of Marks and Spencers. And at the other end of Rampant Hall Street, these shops would be replaced by the other end of Marks and Spencers. Going into Surrey Street now and the Boar's Head which had dated from 1456 was severely damaged and that would eventually result in the widening of St Stephen Street with new buildings on this side of that street set back. This is Theatre Street with the Shakespeare pub and beyond it the Presbyterian Church all eventually being replaced by the Forum. Walter Kett and Son, furniture decorator and removal contractors, were at 72 St Giles Street, a location which has since made way for the Cleveland Road access from the Grapes Hill roundabout. Two sides of Calvert Street now, firstly on the west side, numbers 2 to 10, which have been replaced by these buildings known as Lowe's Yard after the historic yard between Calvert Street and St George's Street. And opposite we have numbers 3 to 5 Calvert Street which have been replaced in part by car parking. Into Magdalen Street now this is number 96 to 100 which today looks like this on the corner with Edward Street. Lobster Lane is just 44 metres long running between Exchange Street and Pottergate. Before the Blitz it looked like this and careful restoration means that today it remains equally as attractive. Into Timber Hill now and at numbers 39 to 43 was the Cozy Corner Cafe and today the site has been rebuilt and is occupied by a bridal wear shop. Across Timber Hill at number 20 was the former Star and Crown pub with the 2022 equivalent view looking like this. On the corner of Grove Road and Trafford Road stood the Trafford Arms and after its destruction it was replaced by the present building in the 1950s. Finally a site completely lost from the city. The photographer is standing in Mountergate, the road off to the right is Synagogue Street, the building is the synagogue and the equivalent view of St Anne's Apartments is completely unrecognisable. 